How does River Nile flow upwards? First of all, River Nile is the longest river in the world. It has flown for generations from Lake Victoria in the south to the Mediterranean Sea in the north. When drawn on a map, the river seems to flow upwards rather than downwards, leading to queries as to how this river does it. More so, there are no other major rivers that follow this direction of south to north, thereby adding to the mystery. And here is how. Rivers flow from a high land to a low land under the influence of gravity while following a path of least resistance. River Nile, just like any other river, starts from a high land, in this case Lake Victoria, which happens to be in the south. It flows downwards towards the Mediterranean Sea, which is a lowland and happens to be in the north. Lake Victoria is located way higher up than Mediterranean Sea. It's at about 1,134 meters above sea level, while Mediterranean Sea is at the sea level, which is zero meters. Therefore, water from the lake will naturally flow downwards towards the Mediterranean Sea due to gravity and fewer obstacles. The misconception of River Nile flowing upwards largely comes from the association of north with up, all highlands, and south with down, all lowlands, rather than what affects the flow of water, which is altitude and gravity.